We're going to use Photoshop to make a nice glossy text effect like this one. So the first thing we're going to do is make a new document, file new, and make it about 400 by 400 wide. That's fine. I'm now going to use my color picker down here to choose a blue for me. Um, you can choose any color you like. And then I'm going to use the paint bucket up here. If you can't see it, click and hold on the gradient tool, it'll be behind that if you can't see the paint bucket and fill my background in blue. I'm now going to add the text in which uses the text tool and I'm using Cooper Black which is a nice thick font. This is set to regular, this is set to 100 which you might need to type in if it's not in the menu. This is set to strong and change the colour of your text to be black otherwise you won't be able to see it. You'll notice I've just clicked up here by accident um, and that means I'm going to start typing there. I'm going to type the word glossy which you aren't going to see because um, basically I'm not typing on my canvas so I now need to go and grab the move tool and remember where my text was and drag it down into the middle like so. You'll notice that the text got created on a new layer and it's this layer we want to play with. So what we're going to do is play around quite a lot with the blending options. So on the text layer over here, right click and choose blending options. And this menu appears. Now I'll leave the menu here so that you can see the changes to the text as I do it. The first thing we're going to change are the blending options. So we'll leave general blending alone, but in advanced we want to set the opacity to be 15%. If I just move the slider, you'll see what that means. It means that the zero to zero, the less transparent it gets. If you can't get it bang on 15, you can just click in the box and type it. There we go. And we've almost faded that out. The only other thing we're going to do here is click tick this blend exterior blend interior effects as a group option. That's it for blending options. But now what we want to do is go through some of these blending these specific blending things. So the first thing we're going to do is apply a drop shadow. Now let's tick the box and instantly you see the shadow appears and if you click the words drop shadow you get the options up on screen. So we're going to take the opacity down to 65. Again play around with the slider and see what happens. You see the shadow starts to disappear because this is just the shadow with settings we're dealing with now. Opacity down to about 65 distance up to about 20. This is quite fun actually. If you play with the distance slider you can see you get it further away and closer. But we want about 20 so distance about 20, spread 0 and size 15. There we are. Now untick this use global light and that's us done for a drop shadow. We're now going to move on to the inner shadow. So I'll tick the box and you'll see the inner shadow appear. There we are. And I'm going to change the colour of the inner shadow by clicking on the colour box here to a dark, a darkish grey. Now the greys are always down the left hand side. It doesn't matter what colour you've chosen, the greys are always down the left here. So I'm going to go to about there and choose a darker grey. I'm still on drop shadow there. Did you see what happened? Let me cancel that. Click on inner shadow. Make sure you're on those settings. So choose my, dark, my darkish grey that's better. Um, untick use global light and for the site of the settings distance 5 choke 25% and size 15 there we are. That's us sorted for inner shadow the next thing we're going to do is apply an outer glow so I'll tick again to show you the difference and now we click on outer glow and go into the settings your blend mode should be set to screen. Your opacity turned down to about 40. Noise is zero. And we're going to change this yellow colour, because it doesn't really go with mine, to a lightish grey, so somewhere up there. There we are. Okay. Um, spread should be zero. Size should be about 10. Range 50, jitter zero. Good stuff. Now we've got one last set of blending options to play with and those are the bevel and emboss. So if I tick that, you'll see the bevel. 
you can see the difference if I take it away again and the bevel settings are click on them again your inner bevel should be smooth depth is 100 that's fine we're going to change the size up to about 20 and we're going to change the soften up to about 5 there we are and your shading options here 120 percent here untick use global light again let me just check if I did that for inner shadow and drop shadow yes I did good um, altitude let's change that to 70 and what we're going to do here with gloss contour is if you drop this menu down you get all the different contour options we're going to use this u-shaped one see what happened there that's a nice nice little contour there just um, tick the anti-alias so that it smooths out the edges and the last two things we're going to do is we're going to turn the opacity right up to 100 and we're going to take the shadow mode all the way down to about 15 percent there we are if you click OK you've got some nice glossy text the only difference between the one I made before and the one I've just made is I probably used a slightly darker grey on the inner shadow there so go and have a go at making yourself some glossy text